is Brooke and I'm so glad that you're here joining me on my channel for today's video where I'm going to serve up a giant plate of cloth diapering information and share with you guys my experience, how we cloth diaper, how we wash, some pros and cons to cloth diapering overall, as well as provide you with some tips and tricks that I have learned over my last year of cloth diapering. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe down below by hitting the red subscribe button and do give this video a thumbs up because it does help really to support my channel. So first off, starting with the style of diapers that we use, we have selected the cloth diaper. Of course, we selected the cloth diaper kind. That's what this whole video is about. We have selected the pocket diaper style. So this style is a waterproof shell with a pocket that allows you to stick in these inserts for absorbency. The pocket diaper style is sort of an in-between between, between pre-folds, which is where you have a larger piece of fabric that you fold up, place on your baby, and then use a waterproof shell around. And then there is also a all-in-one style, which is exactly what it sounds. Everything is built in. It's simply a wear and wash sort of method. There are a couple more styles outside of those three, but those three are the most common, most well-known styles of cloth diapers. So we went ahead and selected the pocket diaper because I really liked that it provides customizable absorbency as well as customizable fit. Also, a huge reason that I want to go with the pocket diaper is because I really wanted the Norris Nursery brand and they manufacture pocket diaper style. Norris Nursery is a wonderful company. They are based out of the US. They make beautiful diapers. The patterns are absolutely stunning. They're super high quality and Norris Nursery also believes and supports ethical manufacturing. Let's chat about the investment of cloth diapers. So the average family will actually spend about $1,400 on disposable diapers. This is just the generic ones. We are not talking premium, high quality, high fit diapers before the child is two and a half years old. Compared to cloth diapers where you are investing around $400 for a full diapering system. We went ahead and purchased a total of 21 diapers. This is three of the seven packs offered by Nora's Nursery and I am washing every three days. So the things that you want to consider when you're trying to figure out the amount of cloth diapers that you're going to need is firstly how often you're going to change your baby diaper. I am changing within six to eight times in one day and second how often you're going to want to wash. You don't want to leave this too long. I recommend no longer than four days. I wash every three days. So we found that 21 diapers is perfect for us. It is important to note that we do not cloth diaper during the night times because I am currently focusing on establishing a great sleep routine and with cloth diapers your baby can feel that wetness so I didn't want to risk her waking up because she feels wet and breaking that sleep routine that we're trying to establish. So during the night time we still do use disposables for their absorbency and for their moisture wicking but all throughout the day we are using cloth. We also use disposables when we are traveling or if Lena is being babysat by someone else. As for the inserts, there are various types of inserts. We simply purchased the bamboo ones because they are what Nora's Nursery offered and we wanted to buy our whole system at once. The bamboo ones are nice and soft. I find them perfectly absorbent. You can get hemp, flax, microfiber, charcoal. There's so many different types of inserts. We also did purchase one extra pack of the inserts so that we were able to add in more inserts when we wanted more absorption. Let's chat about how I use cloth diapers. So with the pocket style of diaper, you can, like I said, you can use that pocket and stick your insert directly in there. Or you can take your insert and lay it right in your diaper like this so that it's directly touching your baby. And the third option is that you can do both of those things for maximum absorption. You can even double stuff the pocket if you really want, but it's going to get a little bulky and a little bit uncomfortable for your baby. Now these diapers are made with a number of snaps. This allows you to adjust the fit. These snaps here will shorten the length of the diaper while these two top rows will adjust the size of the diaper around your baby's waist. So these diapers are very customizable in the size and they really just grow with your baby over time. When it's time to change a diaper, I will simply unsnap the snaps, see what I'm dealing with. If it is a liquid, I will simply fold the diaper up and throw it into the wet bag that came with the diapers. Wet bags are so important and they are an essential when you are cloth diapering. Wet bags are exactly what they sound. They are bags that contain the moisture, contain the smell, contain the wetness that hold your diapers in between washes. So if it's just a liquid, I will simply toss the diaper into the wet bag. However, if I find that this outer shell 
is not soiled, it's not wet, sometimes I will just remove the insert from inside the pocket or just if I had it laying in there, I will take it out and stick a fresh one directly on there and I'm able to reuse the shell. If I am dealing with a solid, this is what a lot of people question, this is what a lot of people are scared for. If I am dealing with a solid, if it is a solid solid, it can simply be disposed into the toilet and then thrown into the wet bag just as if it were a liquid. If the solid is less of a solid consistency, I will discard what I can into the toilet and the rest I will simply rinse off. There are little hoses that you can buy that you attach to your toilet to rinse it into the toilet. Some people will just actually hold the insert or diaper in their toilet and flush and it kind of rinses off what it can. But I do it. Some of you might think this is gross, but it works for me. I just rinse them off under our bathtub tap with hot water, rinse them until they're clean and I stick it all into the wet bag. It is important to note that exclusively breastfed baby solids are completely water soluble. So you can actually just throw the entire diaper into the wash. It will not wreck your washing machine. It will not make your washing machine smell. They wash away like nobody's business. Now following up with that, let's chat about how we wash our cloth diapers. So I wash my diapers every three days in between that they are being stored in their wet bags. When it is time for washing, I will simply open my wet bag, shake all the diapers into the washing machine along with the wet bag and wash it on hot water. I wash it on a normal hot water cycle and once they're finished, I toss them into the dryer to tumble and air dry. If you do have the ability, if you live somewhere where it's warm or if it's summertime, to allow your diapers to dry in the sun, that is optimal because the sunlight's UV rays will actually naturally sterilize your diaper and it can help to lift any stains that might happen. When you're washing, it's important that you check the ingredients of your detergent, opt for a gentle, opt for a natural detergent because some detergents can contain ingredients that will block that absorption rate and can break down the waterproof abilities of your diapers. It's also important that you are not using any fabric softeners because those two can break down your diapers. Opt for dryer balls, opt for natural detergents. You can go onto the Nora's Nursery website. They have so many resources, so much information there for you to learn about what detergents are safe, what ingredients to look for, and how to properly wash your diapers. Now there is something called stripping your diapers. This is something that I actually just had to do to mine. So over time of using your cloth diapers, you may find that they are either not as absorbable as they once were, or they might be holding on to a smell. And these are two indicators that it is time to strip your diapers. I have found that washing them on a hot cycle three times back to back in a row, followed by drying them as per normal is effective for me. So that is how I wash our diapers. Next, I want to highlight some of the pros and cons to cloth diapering, starting with the first con that it is more work than disposables. So you're having to clean, fold, prep the diapers, whereas disposables you just use and toss away. It can take some time for you to figure out a method that works for you, figure out what diapers work for you, figure out your routine. There is of course more wear and tear and usage of your washing machines. It may seem like a high investment upfront, but if you do consider that overall value of the disposables that you're using over a long period of time, that upfront investment really is a small number. And lastly, cloth diapers can be more bulky than a disposable option. Now for the pros, of course, is that cost saving over time. So you do have that initial investment, but from then on, you're essentially making money with your cloth diapers. Next is that there's less waste in the landfill. There is less thing that you are tossing into the garbage that has to be broken down by our environment. Another one that I didn't really consider until I really started using cloth diapers routinely and committing to it is that I don't consider the cost of a diaper change. I found that when Lena was a newborn and we were using preemie size disposable and newborn size disposable, every time we would change the diaper, it felt like we were putting a coin into the slot machines and just tossing away money. Whereas with cloth, you make that initial investment and that is all the money that you need to spend. From then on, each diaper change does not cost you money. I also just love how cloth diapering makes me feel. I enjoy the process. I like the look of the diapers. I like washing them. I find the whole routine to just make me feel good. Of course, they are so cute. There's so many different companies that make cloth diapers with so many designs. I personally found these Nora Nursery ones to just be gorgeous. The last pro, which I actually just learned of, is that cloth diapering can actually help to speed up the potty training process. And that is because with disposable diapers, like I said, they're created with chemicals and materials that absorb 
the moisture and that wick it away from your baby. So your baby is not actually able to feel that wetness. Whereas with cloth diapers, there are no chemicals, there's no materials there that wick away that moisture. So your baby does feel that wetness. And once they learn that wet feeling, they're more able to anticipate that when they soil themselves, they're going to feel that uncomfortable wetness. So they do want to get out of the diaper stage faster. is isn't a thing that is proven, but it is something that a lot of moms have tested out and give their testimonial saying that it did help speed up that potty training process. So lastly, I do want to provide you guys with some tips and tricks that I have learned from my year of cloth diapering. The first one being that it is important if you're going to cloth diaper to give it a good solid effort and give it time. Really experiment with styles of cloth diaper, experiment with washing, experiment with the fit, and just try your very best to get to know the whole process because I truly, truly believe that if you give it time, if you give it your full effort, you will really enjoy doing it. Next is to experiment with in insert experiment with using the pocket layering on top using the dual method and just see what works best for you see what works best for your baby my third tip is to unstuff the diaper so if you are using that pocket unstuff it before you pop it into your wet bag I find that doing this just makes your life easier when you're going to wash because you are able to just shake the diapers into the washing machine and everything is already separated after three days or whenever you go to wash the wet bags can have a potent smell and really you're just not wanting to handle them once they've been sitting in the wet bag for a couple days so it's nice to just be able to shake it out into the washing machine and not have to come into contact with any of the soiled diapers. My next tip is to consider how long you want to wash so for myself it's every three days and have a wet bag for each day. This helps you keep tabs on the amount of days between washing. As soon as I have three full wet bags I go ahead and I throw them in the wash. This is so that I am not missing a washing day and it really just helps to keep everything organized keep me in that washing routine I'm washing my diapers in a reasonable and regular amount of time next is to get over the you of cloth diapering. So many people are sort of turned off and turned away from cloth diapering because they think it's gross, they think it's messy. However, I encourage you to just get over that. You know what your baby eats, you know what your baby is drinking, and once you're able to get over the gross factor of cloth diapering, it really just becomes normal. It just becomes your regular everyday sort of thing. Next has to do with cleaning your diapers. I highly recommend that immediately after a diaper change, you deal with the dirty diaper. You either rinse it, you dispose of the solid or you stick it right into your wet bag. Do not let your cloth diapers lay around because this can create a smell around the area. It's a lot easier to do right away and then it's done and you're ready for the next diaper change. Next is to actually give your diapers a pre-rinse if they are really heavily soiled or if there is some solids that maybe weren't so solid. Give your diapers a good rinse before popping them into the wet bag and this will just give your washing machine a bit easier of a time. This will prevent staining. It can prevent any unnecessary necessary extra stench which there really isn't any in the beginning but it can prevent that in a way there you have it there is how we use our diapers how we wash our diapers all sort of cloth diapering things that I can provide to you guys I truly hope that this video has helped provide you with some information if you are a mom looking at cloth diapering if you are somebody just interested in the topic I really really have enjoyed the process Watching my baby run around in these adorable pattern cloth diapers is really the best part of it all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I will for sure see you all in my next one. Bye-bye.